hello friends welcome back to the channel today's session uh, we will cover about the cdk projects which is uh, s3 bucket lambda functions and the ima roles okay so ima roles with the custom uh, some um, aws manage policy we will use for the lambda functions okay so let's understand the the requirement and the cdk code okay so basically we we, we need to create one lambda functions which has some you know, logic so for now the, for this demo purpose I'm just using any sample lambda uh, code here, okay, which is based on the runtime Node.js 18, okay. Then I will create one roles here. I am a roles and attach with some AWS managed policy, and then I deploy the lambda functions, okay, lambda functions. Then I will do some changes, and again I I need to deploy it, okay, the lambda functions, and then I will test it, okay. So to define the cdk code for this ima roles we you can define this way okay i am just adding the role name here cdk ima role for lambda functions then uh, i am <coughs> attaching this some um, aws manage policy as you can see as the full access cloud version lambda functions okay i am just giving the full access just for the day, uh, practice purpose but in the real cases uh, you should not give the full access it's uh, <coughs> depends upon the requirement you can attach the custom policy okay to create the lambda functions here i'm just uh, giving the lambda function name you know the lambda function for s3 then adding the runtime node just 18 handler name then code which is in src folder okay in the index.js this is a sample code here hello from cdk and the body is response body hello i am from cdk team okay it's a simple lambda functions in the real cases it might be a different one based on the logic and the requirement okay just for the practice purpose i am using the sample one okay so i am also creating one s3 bucket you know the bucket name i am providing here test s3 bucket for cdk then adding the encryption level which is s3 managed encryption okay then i'm adding the removal policy to destroy the s3 bucket and the delete uh, object also okay just for the demo purpose i am giving the destroy uh, option here but in the real cases we can add the retain or something okay retain basically and if something if sometime you delete this tag but you want to keep the s3 bucket over there okay so in that situation you can keep the written policy so let's go to the aws console and verify let me refresh the page here okay as you can see i have only two s3 bucket now and uh, let me go to the ima users okay the roles basically because you can attach lambda functions ima roles we can attach to the lambda functions okay so i am just let me search with the cdk as of now you can see there are some default role basically okay but we have given uh, the different name and the lambda functions which is we have 13 okay so let's deploy the cdk code by using cdk deploy okay and add the option require approval equal to never okay so this way you can simply deploy this lambda function it will not take too much because uh, too much time basically because it's a uh, very you know, two three services we want to create it's a lambda function s3 bucket and i am users okay so this kind of small small project on the cdk you can try so you, know, you will learn better way you can just define your uh, requirements requirement at the structure and in that way and start learning okay so you can just easily get the idea about the cdk how to work on that okay so as you can see it's starting the deployment okay it will take uh, to deploy some time so as you can see the deployment is going on okay just make sure here this bucket name whatever you are giving it should be a unique one otherwise it will uh, the deployment will fail basically bucket name should be unique one always okay just uh, remember this thing the 
the bucket has been created okay then it's uh, creating the lambda functions that also created okay and the IMA rules as well created okay now so let's go to the AWS console and verify this let me refresh okay as you can see uh, earlier it was the 13 uh, lambda functions now it it increased to 15 okay so this is the lambda function recently deployed 50 uh, 35 seconds ago okay let me open that also side by side verify the cdk as you can see the cdk no? the role has been created cdk i am a role if you just go click on that and you will see the permissions we have added in the cdk code okay then for the s3 bucket you can easily just refresh and see that bucket has been created okay as of now there is there is no data okay so let me uh, let me add the event here okay just click save and just click on test okay you can see the response body and the status code 200 okay i am from cdk team let's say i'm just changing uh, something in the lambda function line i want to deploy that okay so in the uh, lambda functions you can just change any value like hello uh, from aws cdk okay instead of that just save it and run again the same command cdk deploy okay so it will immediately de deploy because it will not take, to, uh, take too much time as we have already created the resource s3 bucket lambda function and i am a role so now it will just deploy the lambda functions only okay because it uh, it will detect get the changes detect the changes okay as you can see the deployment has been completed okay now let's go to the AWS console and verify. Just refresh the page, okay. Either you can verify from this file, okay, index.js. You can see that the AWS uh, word has been added or you can simply just click on test and you can see hello i am from the aws cdk team okay earlier it was hello i am from cdk cdk team not the aws okay so now recently we have added the cdk word so it's deployed properly okay so this way you can easily deploy your projects okay in the aws clouds so i have uh, already uh, uploaded the cdk code okay on the github projects i will add this url in the description box okay so don't worry about that You can see the cdk code here okay the under the lib folder so that's all for the today's uh, session so we will meet in the next uh, helpful session okay thank you